multiplying complex numbers isn't um, isn't a big deal either. Um, we uh, our approach. You know, I've taken our two complex numbers we've been working with. This time, let's multiply four plus i times negative two plus three i. Um, we would, um, you know, the intuitive approach is, well, do we just FOIL this out? Do we just multiply it like we're multiplying polynomials? The answer is yes. We just FOIL these out. And so I get 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And then 4 times 3i is plus 12i. i times negative 2 is minus 2i. And then i times 3i is plus 3i squared. Alright, so we multiply those out, and, and normally, of course, in algebra, you combine like terms at this point. And um, so these are the two like terms at the moment we can combine. But then there's also the i squared. Remember what i squared is. We define i squared to be equal to negative 1. So this is a negative 1, which means this term is negative 3. So let's see, what we have is negative 8. These terms combine to make plus 10i. And then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So now we can also combine the two numbers here and get negative 11 plus 10i. So now it's complete, completely simplified. Uh, look at these... Uh, <laughs> You know, these are real numbers, and when you multiply two complex numbers, you expect to get a third complex number. And that's exactly what happens. So the product of these two complex numbers is yet another complex number. So just be sure that when you're doing this arithmetic with complex numbers, that your final result is a single complex number.